and uh, it's been a while. So we are in our Model X Megatron and we're gonna be showing you uh, update version 12 and uh, actually 2024 14.7, which is version 12 of the software in our Model X to show you guys like what it looks like. Uh, it's not as impressive as like going into Model 3 or Model Y of the full screen, like um, everything. Cause you know, the X's have the, the dash um, video display. So, but let's go ahead and flip the camera here in a second. I'll show you what's going on with the here. You know, all X's and S's have the display here, but nothing's really changed too much. Let's go ahead and put it in park. So here's uh, the update information, some minor fixes. That's exciting. Tesla Vision Assist. So we have the sensors. Um, in the car, but you can actually enable vision assist if you want to, instead of using the sensors. We have auto shift beta. So now it'll actually help you with like three point turns or multi port turns. It'll actually give you a front and back go situation going on there. Some audible stuff. So people that read that do the audio books, this is now inside there. Spotify queue and playback speed. I'm sure you've seen this on a million videos. Same thing here. You can sync your Spotify queue across vehicles and devices, blah, blah, blah hands-free trunk we're gonna try that out so it looks like if you uh, open your trunk when your hands are full and it says here to enable feature you turn it on so it looks like you get close to your phone unobstructed and then listen for tones or chimes and then it'll open up the trunk we're gonna try that um, preview of sentry mode recordings speed chime cameras so if you if you're in an area a city that has the speed uh, cameras that catch you speeding get you a ticket automatically uh, looks like it'll chime beforehand for you if you turn that on. I do like the trip progress bar. That's kind of a neat thing. Uh, cool idea. And you're supposed to be able to see it in the back as well. So we'll see if we can do that. Um, better route available. So it looks like here it's going to su suggest you a better route. Um, to choose how often you see suggestions, adjust the number of minutes saved. Interesting. We'll have to go take a look at that. Security improvements, no big deal, other updates. So inside of here, when you're parked, you can expand the browser to full screen. So full screen, internet browser, rear passengers can see the current trip details, which is kind of a cool thing. You can now swipe to delete sentry mode recordings. Oops, in valet mode, you'll get an alert. When your car is unlocked, they're shifted out of park. Cool, a couple new video games, Space 54 and Deplorable. Maybe they have updates there. Arcade includes the latest game update for Polytopia, Path of, to the Ocean. And if, if you have no passengers in the back seat, that's kind of cool. The rear touch screen now turns off uh, when you shift that apart. So somehow the camera must see there's no nobody in the back, so it'll turn that, that uh, screen off to save you a little bit of energy. So that's actually the rundown of the updates. Let's go ahead and play around and see if we can get that uh, the back trunk to open up. So here is the hands-free trunk. Stand still behind your trunk with iPhone key unobstructed. Listen for chimes, trunk will open on its own. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna walk away from the car and let it lock itself. Like, you know, maybe went to a grocery store or something. Now we're walking toward the car like we had a bag of groceries in our hands. And get closer, here go. And there it is, hands-free trunk. In the back seat, some new things I've noticed in the screen, if you can see it, is a settings button here. Now you can see Bluetooth devices, you can add a new Bluetooth device or whatever. Shows you all your devices that are connected. And you have a screen clean mode now, like up front. It's very fingerprinty. So you have your settings, which we have had that before in the past, no big deal. Seats, and now they added, if you can see here, I can move the passenger seat, which is kind of going front. Obviously you can turn all the heat on. <clears throat> music, current music playing. Obviously here's all your streaming services, your games, which I have yet to play a game back here. But this is pretty cool. So our next video um, will actually 
show you like what the navigation looks like. They said you can see the navigation trip progress back here as well. Thank you. All right, so right now you're looking at the rear screen of the Model X of Megatron, and it's displaying like your progress bar of where we're going. So right now we're going to Acker Falls Park, and you can see as as I'm driving toward Acker Falls Park, the progress is going. Let's take a look here. Turn, turn around here in a minute. That is kind of neat though. screen and there's your trip progress bar as well same thing as on the back screen it's pretty awesome guys right, so this is tesla tim this is the end of our video version 12 on megatron our model x it's been a while since i've done videos we actually rebranded the channel the channel is now called the tesla channel and we'll be doing a lot more videos with drones and teslas and we actually kind of moved so we no longer live where we used to live we live in this big place now five acres somewhere in the country. So I'll see you guys in the next video.